Hello everyone, Rich here again with some scripting goodness. This one for Auto Hotkey, which I have done videos on before. It is free software for the Windows environment at autohotkey.com. And this is my personal Auto Hotkey script for the stuff that I use in it. It looks like a bunch of gibberish, but believe me, it all has a purpose. Uh, the ones that I'm going to concentrate on here are these two, Control alt d and Control alt 0 Now these are not in your system, these are on, this is on my system. You could make this on your system, uh, excuse me, you could make this work on your system if you wanted to via auto hotkey, and that's why I'm doing this video, so I can show you. There are times when I need to output the date in certain parts of the environment, and I have it output in two different ways. Uh, the Control alt d method and the Control alt 0 method. One does day, month, year, and the other one does year, month, day. So I'll give you an example of how I use it. I'm on my desktop and I want to create a folder. I right click New and Folder and by default the name of the folder is New Folder. If I press Control alt d it renames it to 18, today's date. 18 July 2012. If I do a Control Alt Zero instead, which is what I normally do, it is year, month, day, which is 2012, 07, 18. Now, where would this come in useful? Okay. The easiest way to name folders, if you just can't think of a name, or you want something where you can have an easy reference back to it, and something that is uh, the most sortable friendly you do it in this fashion, which is year, month, day. When you're in uh, the Windows Explorer and you list all your folders, if they are in this naming convention, they will all be in order. Even if not sorted by date, even if just sorted by name, um, or at least for the numerical folder names anyway. Um, for And in the command prompt, same deal. So if I start a folder name with this and I press space a couple of times and I say, um, test folder, whatever. And then that's that. Now if I did one, the let's just say the next day I made another folder and I do the control alt zero, but let's just say it was tomorrow the 19th and I say uh, another folder. Okay. When I actually do a directory listing in Explorer or a command prompt, it will show this one first, this one second, because it goes by the first part of the name, which happens to be 2012-07-18, and then the next one is 2012-07-19. It is great for organization, because Windows obviously can't do everything, and neither can any other, <coughs> excuse me, computing environment, so you got to make do with what you got. Here's how it works. Now, oh, and by the way, before continuing, it is not just in folder names. Anywhere I press Control Alt Zero, it will do it, or Control Alt D. So if I do it, say like right here, it'll output it, or that way, it'll output it. So the way it works is pretty simple. In your Auto Hotkey script, I have Control Alt D and Control Alt Zero because those are keystrokes which are generally not used in the Windows environment. I don't know any app that actually does use those, and that's why I use them. So anyway, uh, these are comments, and this is the actual script part right here. So the first one is a format time, comma, current date time, and comma, comma. For some reason, the two commas have to be there. I don't know. I don't remember why, but they have to be there. And then the format of the date, which for D is a single digit day, if it's a double digit, it will automatically do the double digit. So for example, what that means is that for days one through nine, it will only show one and not 01 or 02 or 03. That's what that means. And then MMM, <clears throat> which is the abbreviated named month and the four digit year. I have it converted to uppercase letters, which is what string upper means. So first I format the current date and time, and then I say, okay, I want that all in uppercase for any letters that show up. So it's string upper comma current date time comma current date time and then send input which sends the uh, date to wherever I am to percent current which is the variable percent current date time. This one is very similar except that I have it in I, all I did was change the format so I have it as four digit year 
two digit yeah try to say that again two digit month and two digit day so even one through nine will be o one o two o three o four when you're doing uh, folder naming it is you should have the zeros in there for single digit days same thing now I actually don't need the string upper part I could just actually eliminate this line but I just left it there and then send and then return uh, input to me that's what the return is for so anyway that's it it's really simple um, I find use for it all over in emails like if I'm typing the subject line of an email oh uh, if I'm sending some it, it, I find that when I actually put the date in the subject line it actually makes more of an impact when I send it to someone so if I said uh, send something like uh, important documentation boom like that or actually we'll do it this way okay important documentation 18 July 2012 so when the person sees that you know it's very easy to ignore the date column in email but when you see it in the subject line they'll look at that look at that and say oh okay I remember I know when this was sent and that's why I have the one with the named month in it so they say okay 18 July 2012 and why do I have it in this fashion as day month year with the named in the middle which is non-American standard because American standard is month day year because I don't always send emails to people in the United States sometimes I'm communicating with people outside of the country this format is universally recognized anywhere on the planet that is why I use this format and I don't use month day year in uh, this format that one is actually international standard this is not inter international standard but it is universally recognized this one is ISO universal standard and that's the reason that I use it when making named folders and things like that and that's why the Windows environment as well as the Linux environment as well as the Mac environment understands it so well because it will conform to it that is it so there you go some scripting goodness for simple date output